Hello everyone, we will continue the topic search help exit and in the previous videos we understand the various call control steps. Now what I will do, we will take a requirement, we will take a scenario and we will make use of the particular call control steps so that we will become friendly that this is the step we can achieve this this is the step we can achieve this now what is cell one we already discussed this step is helpful in case of collective search help whenever you have a collective search help and in that you have so many elementary search help but you only want to go for some specific elementary search help, then how we can make use of this particular step to display only the selected search help. Now, the most important part of search help exit is without debugging, you will never, never be able to write the logic because in the debugging, we need to see then we need to write the logic. Suppose, to understand the practical of the first step, what I will do, I will take a collective search help. And you all know in the previous videos, I pass the same to same search help exit into this collective search help. Suppose I am running this search help. I will ignore this pop-up. Now, this collective search help has two search help. This is first search help. This is second search help. This is first and this is second search help. Now, what customer is saying, I do not want this first search help. I only, only want this second search help. Yes, you might have five to ten search help also here into this collective search help. So as of now, I have two. So I will show you how, how I can delete the first one. So I only, only require the second search help. So we all know what is cell one. With the help of cell one, we can go for the selected elementary search help and we can delete the rest because this step is applicable for collective search help only. Now what I will do? Firstly, I will put a breakpoint. I will show you in the debugging mode in one session and in another session, we will write the logic for the same. Suppose I will go for this particular search help exit and I will put a breakpoint. And in another session, I will write the logic. This is our search help. I will go to this search help exit. And in this session, we will write the logic for the same. Now, firstly, I will run this particular search help. I will go for OK. And you all know what will be the first step cell one and I showed you in the debugging mode in the previous videos. Now if I will show you call control step, you can see the call control step is cell one, cell one, select one of the elementary search help. Now you can see this is SHLP underscore tab into this particular parameter, you have both the search helps and you do not require this because we all know this parameter is giving us that this parameter is a table of all the elementary search help. So from this internal table, we will delete this particular record. Whenever we will delete this, then we have only this particular search help itself. So that's why I told you without debugging, you will never, never be able to write the logic. Now, suppose 
if I will go for this collective search help, suppose this is our search help action, because in this we will write the logic. Now I will write a if condition, if. Now we need to go for this whenever the step is cell one. So what is call control? Just see here. So it means call control step. Whenever call control step is equal to what? Cell one. Whenever the step is cell one, for every if there is a end if, now we will simply, simply delete this, delete this first search help from to this from this internal table. So how I will write? I we all know we have a delete internal table operation delete. This is our internal table shlp underscore tab where what is the column name shlp name shlp name is equal to what is the name of the search help you want to delete? This is the name of the search help. That's why I showed you without debugging, you will not be able to write the logic. I will check the syntax and I will activate. So now what I will do, I'll just come out from here. Now I will show you in the debugging mode. Are we getting a expected output or not? So now I will put a breakpoint and show you in that debugging mode. Now I will run. I will go for OK. I just put a breakpoint. I think it has not stopped. Just okay. I'll put a breakpoint. Now I will run this search. Okay. Breakpoint stopped. Now you can see what will be the call control step cell. Currently, we have two search help into SHLP tab. First search help, second search help. Now we are deleting this if condition true. Now we are deleting. Have you seen the first search help deleted? And now we have only the second search help. Now I am simply doing F8. Now you can see we have the second search help. Previously, we have two tabs. Now we have only one tab. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, I showed you how you can use the step cell one. What is the purpose of cell one? Cell one is used in case of collective search help. And whenever you want some restricted elementary search help, you do not want others elementary search help, you can use this particular step. So we saw in the debugging mode that all search help are coming into this internal table. So we deleted a particular search help based upon the, based upon the where condition. We use the delete internal table operation. And yes, once after that, when we saw, we are only, only getting the second search help. First search help is not applicable. Now, one important thing, people will ask, we are doing everything here. We are running the search help. Yes, you will use the search help in the program. That is true. Whenever you will run the program, this search help you need to be used there because ultimately search help customer will run the program. So in the program itself, customer will be able to see this particular search help in which only second tab will be there. 
first step will not be there. So that's it in this particular video. Thank you.